tonight. Do you recognize anyone in this video? Police release surveillance video showing two men chasing, then fatally shooting a 52 year old man. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Chris O'Connell. And I'm Dawn Timoney. A $20,000 reward is now being offered for information leading to an arrest in this case. Marcus Espinoza is live with new details from police headquarters. Marcus. Hey guys, I can tell you that the video you're going to see here may be disturbing to some folks, though we have blurred much of it to protect against seeing this young, this 52 year old man gunned down in the street. Police need your help now in identifying who pulled the trigger. That's not something you want to see happening in like a big city, a small city, you know, a city that likes to pat itself on the back. You don't want to see that. Yet time and time again, we have seen just that in Philadelphia. Another shooting and killing of a man caught on surveillance footage. Philadelphia police releasing this footage, which we further blurred for graphic reasons. Police say 52 year old George Gomez got into a confrontation on the 400 block of West Indiana Avenue this past Sunday. He's then seen running away from those individuals as he's being shot at multiple times. He died at Temple University Hospital on Monday. Philadelphia police urging anyone who might know these individuals to please come forward. Suspect 2 seen here with a gun is wearing a red t-shirt. Just behind him, suspect 1 seen running behind him and then back also with a gun in his right hand. The two suspects are then seen getting into a vehicle and driving away. Again, here's a look at both suspects, one in a red shirt and one in a white shirt. Andrew Davis has lived in Philly for nine years. He says the amount of violence happening across the city is hard to stomach. It's hard to balance paying attention and not paying attention. Like you don't want to get too depressed, but you don't want to be blind either. A memorial sits on the street now in memory of a man no longer here. Another life lost to the gun violence epidemic in Philly. Davis asking out loud, how do we stop making violence the first option for so many in the city? It seems plain to me that like, well, yeah, you shouldn't shoot somebody after an argument. How can we make it so that that's how everybody sees it? You know, that's the question. And while we were at that scene today, police have mentioned before they need people to speak up in these neighborhoods. Something that was said to us while we were out there is from a elderly woman. She said, the longer you stay quiet, the longer you stay alive. You can see now and understand the trouble for folks to speak up. But police are begging you to speak up. If you have any information for those suspects, you can do so anonymously. All right, Marcus Espinosa, police headquarters tonight.